This man is thirsty. Where'd that come from? <laughs> <laughs> golden hour for the cookies bro oh wow hey guys and welcome to another new york city vlog this is the second time of me going back to new york city going with the boys and this video is gonna be pretty jam-packed a lot of food activities so it's gonna be a longer type of video so sit back and enjoy hey anyway how was your night last night what did you do night was not a good night did you have any fun it was yeah, okay. Yeah. What are your goals for the rest of the weekend? What do you want to accomplish? I don't even know the goals. Bro, there are no goals. Just want to have a good time? Yes, exactly. The goals are to have a good time. You excited to poop today, Edward? What? You excited to poop today? I'm excited to poop? Yeah, of course. Actually, do I? I don't know. I need to see. Let me see. <laughs> Yeah, how's your coffee, buddy? I kind of caught that. As I said earlier, I'm in New York with the boys, so let me introduce some of them. First, we have Keenan. He has a deep morning voice for no reason, and also he wears his cap backwards because he thinks he's hip or something. Next, we got O'Leary, probably the most normal out of all of us, just enjoying his sandwich right there. Respect. Jude, although his name's so innocent, he's the most likely to be a criminal. Next, we got Axel, seven foot giant, most handsome blonde man I've ever seen. And finally, we have Sam. There's nothing much going on in his head up there, just like me. That's why we fit together. Most likely to say something random. With the crew introduced, let's just eat the rest of this damn bagel. Oh, damn. This looks good, bro. You can... Man, that looks good, bro. You see that? What was this place called? Peter Pan? Peter Pan or something? Let me get a picture first. Okay, first bite. <laughs> it looks like there's cheese on there, too. What's your rating? Bacon's nice and crispy. Oh, I have something in my eye. <laughs> <laughs> it's very creamy. And um, I would say 7, 8 out of 10. <laughs> Sheesh! After we had that bagel, which is pretty good, just some questionable outfit choices by the owners for the employees, but we went to the park again. If you guys didn't know, last time me and Keenan raced and we tied, so this will be a rematch to see who actually wins. So last time me and Keenan raced at this very track. It was a it was a tie last time, so we're having a rematch. Are you ready there, buddy? Been born ready. What are your predictions for the race? Who's gonna win? I predict another tie. What are your predictions for the race? I got Inuit. Predictions. Uh, Who's gonna win? I'm taking Wit. Um, okay. For sure. Why? Uh, just the build, I think, for this type of environment is better. And with money line minus 110, putting next month's run on it. <laughs> okay. I know this guy's got okay, the rent to get it done. Yeah, I'll make sure to put in the work for your rent. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, shit. What's closing the gap? <laughs> wow. It wasn't even close. Wit, bruh. You just cost Axel two grand. Big W. Let's go, baby. Uh, Wit, what do you have to say? <laughs> <laughs> what I have to say? Yeah. Because he was just faster today. I think because it was a long distance race. I was like pretty short. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just caused Axel's event, bro. Are you serious? Bro? That's too bad. The champion. What do you ask for when you get your hair cut? Middle part? I just show him a picture. Of like and he hooks me up. Of a BTS guy? Like who do you <laughs> Basically. <laughs> you trying to get one like that too? He just looks up Asian fuck boy <laughs> and shows a picture. <laughs> what, you don't feel good after that run, Keenan? You want to look at up. Oh damn, what? That looks good. Let's see what this tastes like. A lot of fluff. That cream, bro. All right, that's good. Seven five. After some breakfast, it was time to ball. Time to cross some people up. <laughs> yeah, keep stretching. <laughs> okay, so after tossing some warm-up shots, you know, not the best. 
the game started. It was basically me, Keenan, and Jude versus Axel, O'Leary, and Ron Ketty. This game, you will notice, yeah, that's just the average game. No, I'm just joking, but overall, yeah, that's a tough one. But Axel, the seven foot giant, and we had to double team this guy. I went for a little drive, absolutely stuffed. Like they stuffed paper in my mouth. It is what it is. You know, but we still keep pushing harder throughout the game. Sam just doing Sam things. J a little junk ball action here. A little aggression. Just yossing the ball up. Somehow goes in. Overall, you can't really stop this giant from scoring, but somehow, just somehow, we're making some good drives. It's a pretty close game overall. I think we only, we only won by like a couple points, but you know, I had to clutch the last shot. Pretty anticlimactic considering you're just a layup, but you know, despite missing like six shots in a row, you gotta, you gotta give the ball to your clutchest player, you know, to finish off the game. and Jude and Henwood won game one. Henwood hit the game winner. Yeah, How does it feel? What was going through your head when you saw that mismatch? You know, even though you, you missed like six air balls, you gotta believe in yourself. That's yeah. facts. Playing yeah, game two it. in about five minutes. What's, what's, the, game two? <laughs> what's the game plan? <laughs> How do we stop Axel? Six foot six, Axel. Six foot six, and he can shoot. Built like Kristaps Porzingis. What's the game plan? The game plan is to do a double man again. Yeah. We're gonna double team him? Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna leave Sam open? Yeah. Make you pay with. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Alright. Star player, clutch shot. How does it feel? Feels great. Well, why is what is with all the aggression on the court? Bro, doesn't you're seem the very well around out there, bro. Dude, Doesn't seem very sport friendly. Dude, I think it's like a bleeding sound. Bleeding. You made me yeah. bleed, bro. Oh, bro. I got elbowed. Yeah, me and Keenan are having fun time on the balcony. You going to the roof? Why are you aiming at my balls? <laughs> you want them or something? Yeah. All right, so we're back. We have Oasis, Falafel, and Shawarma. I have the chicken, Shawarma plate, Falafel. Oh, no, it's pretty. <laughs> yeah, chicken's pretty juicy. Chicken pretty juicy, the sauce is, but the hummus is not that good. Um, the rating is... Uh, what are our predictions for him? It's rating too? Somewhere between 7.5 and 8.5. I think 7.3 maybe. I think it's like a I'm going to be like a 6.5. No way he goes that low. Alright, I gotta try the falafel too though. <laughs> Big ball. The chicken plate, like a 7-3. The falafel. Who said 7-3? Jet did. The falafel's like a 8-2. Yeah, the falafel's got. That's the end of the review. Yeah, I'm gonna get a bite. And can I have some of that hot sauce? It's the next morning. Pretty nice. Just took a shower. The boys are still asleep. I think we're gonna grab some brunch or something, so catch you back for that. Cheers. And it's 10 a.m. Psych. It's Cheerios. If you guys are liking the video so far, please remember to like, comment, subscribe. It helps me so much and it shows that you guys are enjoying the video. Let's just get back and do it. Going out to the diner, boys. Axel, good man. Hold the door. The most handsome blonde man and what's ever seen. And also Chetty. And Chetty. <laughs> Chetty's beautiful on the inside. So I got like that. kinda long, like wait, this is like where COVID nineteen started. Oh, really? That's sick. I thought it started in Wuhan. Got a good value pots here. What do you grow? How good are the value? <laughs> Yo, Kina, you look you look like immaculate in this like this lighting, bro. It's actually going crazy.
like the cold, it's like a cold sweat. I'm sensing a pattern here. The first time you drank, you said this is so easy. Like, <laughs> The next time you drink, you're like, this is the worst. I'm never drinking. The third time you drink, you're like, this is easy again. So really? What's gonna happen the fourth time? Uh, I want to yeah, see next time. Top G, top G. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we gotta get that footage. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> <laughs> top G. Anyway, top G. How do you feel about top seeing Top G in the flesh? <laughs> that was sick. Is I that your idol? You think he would have beat your ass? No, I think he would have danced on me. So we're at the park again, same place, I lost to Keenan. You wanna race again today? Uh, I'm so full. So full? Okay, this is your time. <laughs> it's my right. time to shine. That's so you right. backing down from the challenge? <laughs> it sounds right, like fine, he's forfeiting. You again. Yeah. Right. He's forfeiting. Yeah, he only knows. Yeah, so bright out. <laughs> There's just some stuff on the back of your thing, bro. <laughs> bro, you'd even try to you bend down bend for down that. <laughs> Yo! Can I film you, Josh? Yeah. It's pretty big down there. You would steal the paint off the last time. <laughs> I want to see how many you can do. Okay, I was struggling with mine, but Sam is just pumping these out. Like, Jesus Christ, bro. How much is that, like 20? After we went back to the park, we went back to the apartment and then went straight to Washington Square Park. Just trying to see the local area. Definitely some interesting things going on. A lot of hustlers, random skateboarders who literally have the biggest balls because they're literally just doing it in front of everyone and they're messing up. I don't know if I could do that. But. And also this was the day before the solar eclipse. I think that's what it's called. So we had these glasses, trying to test them out. I look pretty stupid in it, but it's pretty cool. Overall, not much to do at this park. Just a lot, a lot of people. Like Jesus Christ, I've never seen so many people at a park. A lot of people watching. But after that, we started walking over to this famous ice cream place. Classic New York thing happening. Classic. Classic. Yep, wait for me, buddy. Yeah, I love how in New York, oh, you just have to walk across and you don't even have to ride away, you just do it. Oh, you do? Yeah, I was a green walk. Oh. When we got there, the line was way, way too long. I was not willing to wait in that. Like I said, I had a sour experience from my previous place. Just because the line's long doesn't mean it's good. So we went to get some cookies instead. Those are the flavors, bro. Perfect. That looking good, bro. Why? What else do you think I said? Oh. Oh, they're warm. Damn. It's golden hour for the cookies, bro. Caramel, this thing's crazy. Caramel coconut. Yo, coconut catch the back of this, bro. Whoa. Is it warm? Yeah. There's a bunch of articles up there, so... Yeah, I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> Those articles don't matter. Yeah, the articles don't matter. I'm about, to, I'm about to tell the truth to this world. Yeah, I know. Dude, this is like crispy. Yeah, that's a good bite. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Damn. That crunch. One to ten. It tastes very like chocolatey. I like the texture a lot. Eight two. Damn. Oh, I think we gotta do. Do you need water? Palette, palette cleanser. Oh yeah. This man is thirsty. Where'd that come from? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. What's this one? Dark, dark chocolate dark. peanut butter. Oh my god. Some like Amazing. peanut butter inside. Mm. With like that one too. Tastes like peanut butter. Slightly worse than that one. A1. <laughs> Just slightly. Living up to the hype the so texture far. texture on this one's better. It's crunchy. The crisp. Oatmeal raisin. Juicy. You hear that? Yeah. Look at that inside. Crispy outside, soft inside. Look at that. Wow. That thing's moist. A5. Oh! Damn. <laughs> This one's good, bro. Holy shit. This thing's good. And the last one. The original, most popular, chocolate chip and walnut. 
<laughs> yeah, you gotta Dude, give it a rating, bro. It. He's just enjoying. Eight six. Oh, um, best cookie you've ever had. Yeah, probably. <laughs> best cookie he's ever I mean, had. Back to back, all best cookies. <laughs> <laughs> just remember, it's always sunny in New York. Dark shop though. <laughs> That's a different that to do. If they had walnuts in this, bro, this would go crazy. Mm. Oh. Which one's the coconut? I caught you. Coconut I caught you wearing a cross. Is that okay? Yeah. You guys both just came back and got shirtless. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, "What are you guys doing up here together?" <laughs> dudes being dudes. Overall, a pretty fun experience as always in New York City. Can't complain, there's always good food, interesting people, loud. It's perfect for someone stupid like me. Next time, if you guys have any food recommendations, leave them in the comments below and I could potentially go there and actually give an honest review. See if you're right or not, but bye.